I've, I've been here many times to CPC. It's just an amazing resource in our community. And going out and meeting a few of you, I see that you've come from the entire area in which the mayor served, which is the Tri Valley and all the way up through to Martinez. So first of all, welcome, and welcome to Danville. We're very proud to, to be a town who has not laid off employees in this very, very difficult time. And we've done that by being very conservatively budgeted town for a long time, by actually having the money before we spend it, and so forth. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's a town that's very, very proud of its employees. We're a small, small community, but when we have a resource like this, when we are able to share things that we couldn't share in other ways. Yesterday was mornings with the mayor, where anybody in the town can just drop in and talk about whatever they want to. But specifically yesterday, I made it a ta time to learn about recreation and other activities that can help people, classes that we offer. And so I'm going to share one with you that I hadn't heard about until I went to the emergency preparedness. That our fire district, Santa Monica Valley and um, Fire Protection District, has a new class called Reducing Stress. And the person who teaches for Daniel, Bell talks about how it has like changed her entire life about how she views everything because if you're ready to take one part and take control, you're able to face other things that can be very difficult in the job market that we face. So I encourage you to look on that site if you're interested. It's June 16th at 6 p.m. and uh, she's just an amazing young lady. So secondly, I had wanted to look at what made such a big difference in my own life. And, uh, Albert Schweitzer had said, that I don't know what your destiny will be, but the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who have sought and found how to serve. And I know that that service can be in a job, it can be in a vocation, it can be an application. So myself, I'm a CPA and, and happen to be fortunate enough to be mayor of this fine city. But in all of those roles, when I look back at all the things from soccer coaching, which I've done for almost 30 years now for kids, but that's where I've learned what I consider my job skills, because when you're in the middle of a job and you're under pressure, you can't learn them, but when you're sitting here and you're able to volunteer and work with others, it's just amazing the skills that you pick up. At Pillars of the Foundation this week where there were two rooms full of 501c3 organizations looking for volunteers in this community, that's what they were advocating as well. They were happened to be that the first five people I met were all from my soccer life. <laughs> you never know what your network will be. And so I encourage you to do that and to hone your skills in all the ways, whether it's computers, speaking, organization, or really just networking in the most unexpected places. So I applaud you being here. You have an amazing lineup of speakers. And I hope that you'll stay and enjoy our town and come back. But all the best to all of you. All right. Thank you. All right. So she mentioned a quote. I've got a favorite quote. And it's not, there are people in the room that will say, ground is a shape. So I'm staying in shape. That's not it. <laughs> Here it is. Write it down. Are you going to have a great day today or do you have other plans? Who's going to have a great day today? Yeah. All right.